Hello everyone, I'm Trick from UTE. Today I'm going to show you some basic steps to get started with the Raspberry Pi, the most famous Raspberry. So we're going to need the micro SD. Let's plug it in the computers. And we need some software. So far we're going to check the letters of the micro SD. It's uh, letter, letter H. So we're going to download the image from raspberrypipe.org. It's called the Raspbian. It's the image of the uh, OS that runs on your Raspberry Pi. So you're going to save your file in your computers. For me, I get it on my computer already. The next step, we're going to need Win32 Disk Imager. This software allow you to write uh, the image file into your micro SD. So let's get it on the internet by searching uh, the download link on Google. So first we're gonna start Win32 this image here. It's very simple. You just select the file you are already downloaded and select the micro SD letters be careful double check the micro sd letters otherwise you will destroy your file on your usb okay then we write it's gonna take uh, five to ten minutes to finish so gonna wait a little bit <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna skip the installation. Okay, gonna finish. All right, we finished the installation. Now we have the two letters from one micro SD after installation. We have the boot and the others. Uh, next step, we gonna allow the SSH protocol by uh, create a new file called SSH without the extension. Be careful, double check the file name extension. Otherwise, it will uh, rename as SSH, SSH.txt and this gonna not, it's not, not work. The next things you have to set, to, you have to assign the uh, static IP for your Raspberry Pi. Remember that IP address. So for me, I will set dot two and dot eleven. Let remember that that's the IP of your Raspberry Pi computers. So we unplug the micro SD and then we plug it in the Raspberry Pi computers. It's, it's uh, look like this. The slot is the other size of the Raspberry Pi. So after plug it in, we power on the Raspberry Pi and plug in the LAN cable. So we're gonna check whether we connected uh, successful or not. And then we go to control panel and then we go to network and we check the network and sharing center. So we see the Ethernet connection, that's the, the wire connection that I already plugged it in. My computer and my Raspberry Pi. We check the TCP IP v4 and we set the IP for the computer. You know, the computers uh, is have to be different from the IP from the Raspberry Pi. So for me, I set dot two dot pair, okay. For my Raspberry, is .2.11, so I'm going to wait for 10 seconds for the connection already set it up. All right, finish. Now we can check by typing in the command windows, IP config wrong, and then we can check whether it's connected or not. Otherwise, you have to check the cable. All right, we get here. 
all right or oh, the other command we can check arp minus a so we can see the ip that assigned to the other device in in the uh, connection all right then we can use the software like putty mobile extern or vnc to lock it in the raspberry pi i have already installed my putt the putty the famous putty and then i would type in my raspberry ip address for me it's dot two dot eleven so uh, the default account name and uh, password is pipe and then pipe and then the password is raspberry remember it's all lowercase all right pipe and then raspberry after successful log it in we can command the raspberry to do the job for example sudo super user if config to see the IP address up the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I'm gonna turn the putties off and then I switch to the mobile Eastern. It's similar to putty but it's more advanced. Okay, you can search the download link on the internet. So we start the mobile Eastern. Uh, similar to putty, it has the SSH protocol and it also required the IP address but it allows you to log in with the setup username and password so I already set here the pipe and the password is raspberry okay raspberry so we don't have to type in again okay all right check in the space Specify username is pi and OK, click OK, and then we get connected in the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, we can command the Raspberry as before, as in Putty. Yeah, it has some colors here. It's beautiful, right? Also, we can lock it inside the Raspberry to see how the screen of the Raspberry is on the laptop we just enable the x12 x11 protocol and can see the x lxde desktop this time double click on the connection it will show two windows one window is public and then the other is the screen of the raspberry pi so you you will not need another display HDMI display screen you can save your money all right that's the inside of the Raspberry Pi so you can command you can type in or you can click on the screen just like the Raspberry Pi running it all so good luck please share your successful screen with me Goodbye and see you next time.